Time for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. Time for New Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Join your host, the accomplished Dr. Sherilyn Lee, as she welcomes the leading experts in health and well-being as they explore the advancements in natural health, physical fitness, nutrition, integrative medicine, and self-discovery. People won't know why you're time. Hello, everyone, and good day. It is a wonderful day today. It's a wonderful day because we're here and you're here. That's what makes it a wonderful day, a day that we were able to rise and come together for another beautiful day. So I'm excited. I'm excited for many reasons. I'm excited because of life. Life is what keeps me excited. And as long as we have life and we can breathe, which we will be talking about that today, but today our show is a wonderful topic. And Here. I say breaking news because most of this is something so simple. The secrets to good health and and and, and, and vibrant health. That's what you want. You, but you want not just good health. You want optimal health. Okay, there's a big difference between good and optimal. So that's what we want. So we're going to be going over, and I say we because my wonderful guest, the five secrets five secrets and they're not really a secret because most of this is free it's free to stay young to look good and to feel good so i want to thank you so much for tuning in today and i i'm honored honored to have the one and only the one and only he is such a fabulous person and i say this from my heart because we meet a lot of people in our lives today and a lot of people don't share but this is a doctor that not only helps his patients to heal, and he comes from his heart, but he is a good person, wonderful person, in sharing knowledge and information to other practitioners and other people. So it's just truly, truly a blessing, and I am grateful to have the one and, not, or the one and only Dr. Harari Kosa. Kosa. <laughs> <laughs> like I did forget? No, I didn't forget. <laughs> <laughs> I am honored to have him here in the studio with me today. Thank you. And as we talk about these wonderful five secrets, breaking news, five secrets to obtain health and longevity. Yeah. So I'm going to say optimal health, even though that's not how our title went out. But I am just so thankful that we're able to do this. So for those of you who are watching this live, please share this show right now with your friends because we're going to give you some steps to do to stay healthier longer and no one should be in pain because that's going to be one of the part of the secrets to this pain and inflammation uh, something that's free uh, that you can go and do yourself we're going to be speaking of yep. and I have a pa some patients that are watching that some of this they've been doing for years and they look so young and people were always asking me, you know, why is it that, you know, you're not aging and I'm not get looking older? and You look you know. younger, actually, than the last time I saw you. Really? Yeah. R yeah. And that's what I keep getting. Yeah. Because, you know, it was kind of by not by choice. I was doing intermittent fasting mm -hmm. because I just didn't have time <laughs> to get up in the morning and do all the eating. Uh, so I started doing intermittent fasting. And then it came up with a nice name and title. And that's one of our secrets. So yeah. I'm going to let you take it away from here. So what mm -hmm. are our wonderful five secrets? You're going to tell people the five secrets real quick. Okay. Well, the first one is is intermittent fasting. Yes. And this is coming out in the media now. A lot of people are talking about yeah, it. Yes. So I've been doing it for yeah. years. So. And it's really based on ancient knowledge. I mean, people have done fasting forever. And basically now science is showing what exactly is happening when we do it. Yes. And it's basically regenerating every cell in your body. When you don't eat, there's a process called autophagy, which is basically the body eating up this, 
dead and dying tissue. Yes. And that only happens when you're in a fasted state. Mm, just say that again. So I want our so listeners to really understand that. Mm-hmm. only happens when you're in a fasted state. Yes. You can force it to happen in other ways, but the most efficient and easy way to to, to stimulate autophagy is through fasting. Mm-hmm. And it has to be no less than 16 hours. So what we tell people is you, you, you no know eating, just water only for 16 hours, and then you have an eight-hour window where you eat. Where you eat. Now, is the time important? Because I know some were like saying... Um, don't eat until 12 noon up until 8 p.m. and don't eat anything after 8 p.m. Well, that's so. like optimal, but you know, yeah. the, the, really the, the key is that window where you the don't, w- eat, don't eat, you mm-hmm. know, and then you're not up at night anyway. You should be asleep and we will yeah. be talking about sleep too, because yeah. that's part of this journey to stay young. Uh, I have a daughter that she slept so much and I think that's why she never aged. Yeah. Um, she would sleep a lot. And not because something was wrong. She just like get in her sleep, and yeah. she slept eight hours, yeah. whereas the rest of us did not. <laughs> yeah. But um, and also doing longer, you know, periods of fasting, like once a week, you could go twenty four hours, or once every couple months, you could do two or three days. Fasting is the easiest, cheapest way to stay healthy and young. Bar none. Yeah, it's free. You actually save money because you're not eating. Yeah, you, you do save money. Because <laughs> I said, gee, I saved a lot of money during those days. Um, and I do that a lot, which I don't will not eat anything in the mornings and then wait until like one o'clock. You know, the lo- the latest o'clock. research, Dr. Sinclair, he's the he's a um, researcher on longevity at Harvard. He's re- he just came out with a new book. And OK, he, he was interviewed and, and they basically said, well, what's your number one? recommendation based on all this research you said don't eat don't eat just don't eat get be in a hungry state as much as you can and that will extend your life and your wellness and your optimal health your energy everything right well i did that for a while because i would get home late and i'm like oh gosh i didn't have time to eat then i would wake up at three or four in the morning sometime and i'm like I am so hungry, <laughs> but I'm going back to bed. I'm certain I'm going to get up and eat this time. You know, and a lot of times when yeah. people are hungry, really what they are are thirsty. Mm-hmm. So that's another part of this process of being right. healthy. Right, because I do drinking. notice I am thirsty. Mm-hmm. You know, you should drink by 11, p- or 11 a.m. in the morning. You should get at least two quarts of water. And then by four, you should get at least another one or two. So if you're a man, you should get two more. If you're a woman, you should get one more. Men need a gallon of water a day. Women need a, like three quarters of a gallon. Okay. Now, does this, is there any difference if it's like summer and you're doing more sweating? Sure. Yeah. yeah. I mean, so it, you would need more than yeah, just. And yeah. And also you mm-hmm. might have to put minerals or salt in your water if you're, you know, because we, we lose sodium when we sweat. Yes, we do. So, yes, we do. um, but also an important thing about water that most people don't realize is your water needs to be structured for it to be the most absorbed into your cells. Okay. And let's so talk about structured water. Structured now. water is how water is in nature. So think of mm-hmm. water flowing down a river and how it goes over the rocks, right? And mm-hmm. it swirls and moves. That breaks it up into very fine molecules so that when you drink it, it's fully absorbed into your cells. Okay. Okay. And if you're drinking water out of a bottle, let's say, there are devices. I'm not going to say what they are because I don't, I don't, we're not promoting anything. But right. there are simple things you can do where you pour like bottled water or even tap water through a structuring filter that will turn that water that's dead, toxic water into living water. Yeah, I've, I've seen some of those. Yeah. So mm-hmm. in any way that you can find out about structured water, I highly recommend that. Okay. Structured yeah. water. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. So I, I know I do. I drink water from a glass bottle and I'm not going to go into yeah. the name of it neither. But this is something and most of my patients who know me mm-hmm. know because I keep some in the clinic <laughs> yeah. all the time, too. And it's spring, spring yeah. water. So um, but um, there's so many little things. So we talk about the water um, and we're not going to get on a whole show on water because we definitely could because there's so yeah. many things been said about water. But I feel, too, if a person just you know they did the studies years ago just holding the water and saying positive things to the water and how it changed some of the structure even there 
So those those tests have been done through uh, science research. And we're and just just so you know we're seventy percent water. Yes, we are. So when you say positive things to yourself on a regular <laughs> basis, you're reprogramming. Just, just, just you. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a lot of sense. So, yeah. Mike, you know, and that's something I say at the end of the show. But, you know, keep that in mind, everyone. Just just wake up with something positive to say about yourself. You know, there's a you new know, thing I'm today. getting into. It's called the Brave Heart. The and Brave it, Heart. Okay. It's, it's called Brave Heart. Basically, and it's a free course. You can you Google it online. But basically, what you're doing is every five minutes throughout the whole day, you have like a little rubber band on your wrist. And you, and you pull it and say, three, two, one, I got this. I'm a good person. Three, two, one, I got this. I love myself. So every five minutes for 24 hours, uh-huh. you're doing that for 33 days. If if a person can do that, you're going to completely change your entire existence. Really? Because you're just reprogramming all the negative belief systems you have about yourself that you got adulterated with from being around adults. So when kids are you know, first born, you know, adults raise them, right? Yes. They adulterate them. So we have to undo the adulteration through the programming. Wow. Um, I don't know if they could pull that up on the screen. <laughs> Bra- Braveheart? Braveheart. Braveheart. Yeah, Dr. Uh, Daryl Wolf. That's his. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, Doc of Detox. That's okay. I don't see a rubber band on your, but you don't I haven't it. got it yet. Okay. Well, I, I'm just letting people know. I do it. You can also just mentally, yeah, I, you can I, I take do, a deep breath. That. Mm-hmm. That's another part of it. You just take a deep breath. If you're if you're in a challenging situation, you're you know getting cut off and travel. Just breathe in, six seconds. Hold for one. Let it go. Do that three times, and you go into zero state, you're neutral. So you don't no reaction emotionally, and you're you're balancing your emotions, right? I know one thing that helps is bring down that blood pressure, your heart rate and blood pressure. So it's going to help the Really well, the autonomic nervous system. Right. Yeah. So breathing through the nose, right, is activating your parasympathetics. That yeah. re- immediately relaxes you. Yes. And so that's a, another key thing is being present and not being caught in your story. You know, a lot of us, we have this whole no. story of the, what happened to us. Yes. And really what's happened to us is we're here right now and we're breathing. That's what happened <laughs> to us. Right this moment. I love we're it. We're here I love and it. we're yes. breathing. Yes. yes. That's it. I That's the that. entire existence of our universe. Exactly. Really. And yeah. if we stay there, yeah. and so many people, I, I read somewhere, someone made the statement, if, you know, God wanted us to um, to stay in the past, he would have put eyes in the back of our head so we can keep looking back. You know, yeah. but the thing is, we need to constantly keep moving forward and stay in the present, stay yeah. in the now. It's been stated so many ways. Yeah. But like you said, I love that. Just breathe and Keep moving. You know, I, I, there's another guy I've been recently studying, and he and he has this thing like, basically, when you wake up, which is I know it's like a new term, right? I'm woke, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, when you really wake up, guess what? You don't exist. <laughs> there's nothing there. It's just air, right? That's we're breathing air and we're light. Right. Our DNA, you know, in the latest research on DNA, you know what it is? What? Light fibers, like fiber optics. So. If you go into the core of a DNA molecule, it's light. So we are primarily water and light and air. That's what's who we are as beings, right? Mm -hmm. So if we work with these elements, the air, the water, and the light, those three things right there, that's the the formula. It's really not five. I said five, but it's really three. It's the elements that make us up. And we can use those elements. We can use the sun. We can use the breathing the air. Yes. And we can use cold. Okay. Yeah. Cold is important because, you know, when we evolved as humans, guess we're ninety nine point nine percent of the time that we spent as, as we evolved over the last few million years, in an ice age. Mm. Do you think humans were cold? Maybe that we have genes that adapt to cold. Right. We're, we're made to be in cold. Yes. And if we don't put ourselves in cold on a regular daily basis, we're doing great harm to ourselves physically. So wow. cold preserves our physical body. Right. And I, I know uh, in sleeping, I, I don't sleep well in a warm, in a very warm room. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I don't. It's much healthier yeah. to sleep in a and cold And I room. didn't realize that until um, something happened with my heating. Yeah. <laughs> and after something happened with my heating, I'm like... 
well, gee, you know, I don't think I'm going to get it fixed because yeah. I'm sleeping better. <laughs> you know, I, I just didn't get it fixed. And yeah. I actually have been sleeping so much better. Yeah. Yeah. And waking yeah. up feeling better. Yeah. And if you do, the heat is you know, not good, and also the heat. just doing cold when you what I've noticed in a lot of people who do the cold therapy, um, you sleep better because you're you know, sleep, the quality of your sleep is really quality. dependent on the amount of effort that you make during the day physically, right? We're made yes. to be very physical during the day. Mm -hmm. You know, optimally, it's we're designed to walk like 10 miles, carry heavy things. You know, that's how our body stays fit. Right. And we live in an environment now where we don't carry anything, we don't walk anywhere, and we don't get in a cold environment. No, and we so, don't go barefoot. So we're yeah. going to talk about grounding. So we're in completely a disconnected mm -hmm. from the earth. We're disconnected from our bodies, and we're disconnected to the natural environment and food that grows in the natural environment, which is whole raw food. Yeah. That that by the way is another one of the five. Is the okay? We, you know, we need to be eating eighty percent raw, twenty percent cooked, all organic, and every color of the rainbow. If you do that you're going to have vibrancy in your right. in your body. Mm -hmm. It's that simple. Yeah. It's not complicated. No, it isn't. This is why I, I steam some, but I yeah. do I do a lot of raw. Yeah. Raw is the high. See, the the raw food is the highest vibration. So it's all about raising our, our personal vibration. And it's done through the elements, the water, the air, the light, and the food. Yes. So when the, those things are... High vibration. The sun is high vibration. The air is high vibration. Cold is high vibration. And the last little piece, the last one, mm -hmm. the fifth one, is the earth. Being connected, like you said, being grounded, mm -hmm. taking your shoes off, walking on the earth, laying on the earth. I do yoga on the earth. I try to be grounded for at least 45 minutes a day. 45, yeah. gee. And, you know, where I do my yoga. Yes. And then I also sleep ground it, too. Like a lot of people don't know about this, but uh, there's a whole technology call of grounding where you sleep grounded. Are you familiar with um, that? No. Okay, I'll tell you about it. There, you Good. can Google it, but basically um, it's been around for decades and they've done a lot of research on it. Okay. And it brings down inflammation. So how do you sleep grounded? Well, they sell different. There's different companies. You can mm -hmm. research it. That sell grounding blankets. So that's yeah. a, like yeah, a Yeah, I, like I have a heard of it because I have yeah. had a grounding blanket. Yeah, so it's, it's basically a blanket that mm -hmm. is has a mesh either of silver or some type of metal, and it's plugged into the ground of your house. So when you're sleeping, you're getting the negative ions from the earth in no, your body. No, you said it's plugged into the ground. So is this is something that you can yeah. put into the... No, you okay. So you know, in your little, uh, you know, in, in electrical outlets, there's there's three plugs, right? There's right. The two parallel, and then right. The one, and one is grounded. Yeah. The one round one, that's the grounding. That's okay. why that's there. Right. And so when you plug your grounding sheet into that, you're getting the negative ions of the earth while you sleep, which is really healthy for you. Yeah, I actually did purchase one. Now that you think about it, through a, a dear associate of mine, and then I I gave it to a family member to try it out. <laughs> Which you I should have tried it uh, myself. I, mean, I know. I haven't not not slept grounded for probably ten years. Really? I mean, I my wife can't sleep, go anywhere without her grounding sheet. We, like, if we travel, yeah. we have grounding sheet everywhere and I we go. Look at your 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 your, your pictures of you and your wife, yeah. just beautiful. Yeah. You guys are so healthy. Yeah, because we're doing this every day. Yeah. This is our lifestyle. You practice what you preach. You just don't yeah. go to your clinic and say, "Look, let's do this, do that, yeah. do that." You're actually doing this. Yeah. You know, because I mean, you know why? Because I okay. The, my story, why I got to this point where I'm at in my life, is because I'm almost sixty. Okay. Okay. And when I was around fifty-five, maybe about four or five years ago, I had I was developing arthritis, like most fifty-five-year-olds get. Right? They get really? arthritis. They I get don't. pain. Okay. Well, you okay. and me don't, but yeah. the majority of people who are listening to this program have pain. Yes, okay? they do. And I. I've never been into Western medicine as a treatment for pain. I never wanted to take drugs. I right. never, never wanted to do surgery. Mm -hmm. And basically I said, okay, I'm going to figure this out. And by the grace of God, I found teachers who are teaching, taught me what we're talking about today, okay. which is really just getting back to nature right. in the right. rawest form possible. So I decided to do it. And in that process, it healed me. It got rid of my arthritis. It got rid of my pain. Mm -hmm. And byproduct is anti-aging. I feel 25 years younger. 
Yeah, you have the energy, <laughs> I'm telling you. Do we have the clip, that clip of you showing people how to develop the ice uh, from the, um, the refrigerator? We we did show that when you've been on the probably show before. yeah from the last time. But the one clip that I do have was when I got out of the my ice bath after twenty three minutes. Oh, that, that would be a good one to show because oh, you can see, see the can energy. You see the energy of oh, being in wow. ice water. Well, while he's <laughs> well, Tony is looking for that. We're, we're we're gonna we're going to keep talking. Okay, because um, the benefits. Let's go over again the benefits of the icing. Okay, um, ice for. Well, okay, so the first thing people need to understand is the yogis, like from India, from thousands of years ago, Mm -hmm. they were the ones who who really developed this as a science, Mm -hmm. okay? And it's also, by the way, in Eastern Europe, Russia, they've been doing it forever, like probably thousands of years. Mm -hmm. It's part of the culture, right? This culture, it was part of our Native Americans knew about this, mm-hmm. okay? So, like, when the babies were born, you know, in the tribes in North America, and I found this out from talking to Native people. Yes. They would take their babies in the middle of winter, and it sounds like torture, but it's not. They take their baby, and they put it in the snow so the baby could start getting the benefits of being cold adapted. Oh, my. So, think about, like, okay, you ever see those pictures from the original Thanksgiving with the Indians, right? Right. The, all of the pilgrims are wearing coats and everything. <laughs> yeah. What are the natives wearing? Loincloths. <laughs> yeah. And it's freezing cold. <laughs> yeah. And I think that's what happened with me because I just never liked, I don't, I, I own one coat because I was going yeah. to Chicago and it was yeah. snowing. Yeah. So that's when I went and purchased a coat. Yeah. But people say, aren't you cold? And I'm like, no, but I, I could never wear a lot of clothing. You know, I just felt smothered or something. Yeah, it's, it's cutting off the, yeah. the life force. So. Cold is, okay, so now we'll get to the core of what cold really is doing. Cold, according to the yogis, and, they, and again, they've done the most research in research, not in scientific terms, but in practical life, applying it to humans, mm-hmm. okay? Thousands of years of doing this, right? Basically what they're saying, this is from the yogis, right? Cold therapy. In any form, you can think cold showers, cold air, yes. cold ice bath, yes. getting in cold, mm-hmm. you know, in any f- way, shape, or form, is f- 1,000 times stronger than any therapy. My. So, right, you may write that, that there. Sh- that yeah. should say something. It says a lot. Um, you know, and I, and I just know that from my own experience mm-hmm. and also with working with patients who've had chronic pain, even way worse than the stuff I had. In fact, there's a video, um, maybe he'll find it, I sent it to you, of of a patient who, he was a professional ski racer, right? Mm -hmm. Downhill guy. Uh And he had had two knee replacements. He had arthritis in all joints of his body. He was in severe pain, okay, for 15 years. 15 years. Young guy, too, like in his mid-40s. He was depressed, okay, didn't know if he wanted to keep living. Okay, mm-hmm. when when you have to endure that kind of pain for that many years, life doesn't make a whole lot of sense. No. So he was confused. He was depressed, and he was in pain, which is a lot of people out there. Right. Right. So I trained him how to do the breathing. Mm-hmm. We got him in the ice. Three months later, he's a new man. He has no pain. Three in his months. Bo- no medication. No medication. No pain in his body. He's happy. Light is beaming from his oh, eyes. I hope we can find it because I like people. I, to see. I sent you that video, so I don't know if we can pull it up or. This is this. Yeah, that's it. That's the guy. Okay, yeah. so he's gonna. He's gonna. We're, I mean, we're gonna let you guys see it because yeah. the proof is in the pudding. Yeah, that's maybe, it. This maybe, is a product of what we're talking. No about. No pudding with milk, no dairy. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> the proof this, is, this, in the this is like yeah. A picture tells a thousand words. If you yes. just look at his energy and his eyes when he speaks, you're going to see what we're talking about. Wow. Yeah. And, you know, I um, actually a year, but two years ago, I was with someone and they had something like a, well, the car, you know, the door opened up this way. Mm-hmm. I know like the Ferraris. Mm-hmm. But anyway, it clipped my shoulder. Mm-hmm. And when it clipped my shoulder, I was... I, we were going to, to dinner, and by the time I walked out of the restaurant, I could not raise my arm. I was in excruciating pain, and it was the day before the 4th of July, and I know I was going to meet up with some family members during that day. 
and I could I, I barely could drive. Yeah. So I said, I'm going to go home, and I'm going to stay in bed the next two days, and I'm going to ice it. And I'm telling you, I got tons and tons of ice wrapped up my whole shoulder. I did take a couple of things. Um, and do you know, by the third day, it was like it never happened. Yeah. It Like it never happened. It's, it's miracle. It, so, it's on the level of miracle healing, I would say. Yeah. It, you know, I... I can't emphasize it enough. And it's also working on the emotions too, because you have to overcome your, you know, your laziness and your fear. And when you do that, it actually does something to your And psyche. your belief. Because if you say, oh, no, that's not going to help me, it probably will not help you. So yeah. we're going to go to the video. Let's show the yeah, video. Yeah, let's this, watch him. His yeah. testimony. This is Andrew, by the way. Okay. So, yeah. Hi, Andrew. Hey. So uh, I was uh, wanting you to tell us your story about your adventures with the ice and the Wim Hof method and how it's changed your life? Uh, well, basically, um, I was introduced to Wim Hof and his breathing technique through a mutual friend. And he mentioned that there's this wonderful healer here uh, and he's uh, doing ice plunging. So basically, uh, yeah, I started ice plunging here about three months ago. Um, I came in with chronic fatigue, um, um, arthritis, mm -hmm. pain all over, and and, when, and your mental state, and, you were kind of and, a little depressed. Absolutely, and, definitely, yeah. definitely feeling depressed. Yeah, and, and um, the mental part of trying to get into this ice was yeah. another hurdle for me because yeah. I've always been someone. I would get cold in sixty degree weather, yeah. which is a little bit of wind blowing. So jumping into this ice was something. It was another was, another step. Oh yeah, it. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. But what the, helped you overcome so that? the breathing, the yeah, really the breathing, breathing, especially yeah. the breathing technique you we did yeah. together. Yeah. When I started breathing with someone, mm -hmm. it allowed me to get more oxygen yeah. throughout my body, and that made a huge difference. Huge difference. Huge yeah. difference. Yeah. Um, and just focusing, and then the minute the minute I got into that ice, I knew right away. It felt like more so than acupuncture, more so than anything I've ever done before. It felt like I was completely healing. My body felt like it was healing. Yeah. It was yeah. really stunning. And the, and then, not to mention the strength afterwards. Yeah. Um, in fact, I pushed myself with some of my hardest workouts. My yeah. initial after ice, I went into workouts and it yeah. felt so amazing. Yeah, you know, the latest research, they were just talking about Dr. Sinclair. Mm -hmm. he, he was being interviewed and one of the things that he, or one of the main things for anti-aging and longevity oh. is cold it's yeah, like they're yeah. saying it helps extend life my complexion yeah you've mentioned it just today yeah. people are talking about my complexion has been yeah i mean i yeah i mean my it's incredible i feel your like, eyes look yeah. like you're beaming too. yeah yeah it's, i feel it, yeah. really 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 yeah. good and you're happy all yeah, the time i'm now. happy all the time yeah. i was so impressed with ice that i got my own ice plant uh, my own ice tank awesome and I've had it now for about a week, and I can't. I crave it. I crave going into the ice. Awesome. That's exactly what Wim Hof is talking about. Yeah. And what you're talking about. Yeah. The minute you get a taste of it, you can't explain that to anybody else. Yeah. Until they get in the ice. Yeah. And they feel the. I mean, it's instant. Yeah. It was instant. I felt the instant relief. No, yep. instant relief. Yeah. I was in so much pain in my elbow, and my knees, that getting into the ice, I knew this was going to work. Yeah. But the other hard work was getting into the ice. That was the yeah. hardest part. But the training yeah. is what helped you overcome absolutely. it. Yeah. Absolutely, absolutely, yeah. yeah. absolutely. Awesome. Well, thank yeah. you so much absolutely. for your yeah. testimonial, yeah, and really, I hope that no, can... my, my life has changed because of you. That's no, sorry. honestly, really, not just because we're talking about this. <laughs> yeah, I want to thank everyone for taking the time to listen to one man's journey and his story, and um, you know, Doc, what. Um, this is something a person can do at home free, but what are your suggestions as far as people doing this themselves at home alone? Well, first of all, you want to start off gentle, you know, love yourself first, you know. So, the, you know, baby steps, you know, start with the breathing process, which you can learn free, by the way, online. We'll do a little demo right here, okay. but you, there's a lot of really good YouTube videos. If you just Google Wim Hof breathing, there are, I would say, probably almost hundreds of them now of different versions where you can follow along, kind of okay. you know, real easy. And we'll show you show you that on the screen yeah. here, too. So the, the breathing is important because what it does is it builds your resistance mm -hmm. and your, it, your heat, your inner heat. They call it inner fire. 
Okay. Um, so a specific breath pattern that Wim Hof discovered just by exposing himself to a lot of cold. And, and his body just kind of naturally got this breathing technique. Mm -hmm. Okay. So this is coming from nature, really. It's, it's a breathing technique you would normally, if you were an animal in the cold, you would do this to heat your body up yes so basically it's like this it's just a long deep breath usually i do it in i'm gonna my follow mouth. it with you that's that's so cool. you, you can do it through your mouth or your nose but i'm gonna show it through the nose just because that's activating your parasympathetic so it's a deep breath that's in. what you want to do yeah so it's a deep breath in deep as you can and then just letting the breath go and again and letting go and again and letting go. Like that pattern. Mm -hmm. So we'll do like 30 of those breaths, right? And you'll Nice and do, slow so you don't hyperventilate. Right. Yeah. So you're doing a nice deep. The key is it, deep in and then letting the breath go. And you can start slow. And then as you uh, build the energy, you'll start to build. You can go faster. Um, and you don't, you definitely don't want to do this driving in a car. Okay. So you could pass out and that's okay in this method because you're going to either do it seated in a comfortable chair or laying flat. You always do it in a safe place. You never want to do this in water or when you're driving a vehicle or anything that where you can endanger yourself. So this technique is very powerful. Okay. It's not something to be taken lightly and definitely take precautions as far as you know, make sure you're in a safe place. So that's because probably sitting on yeah, the floor. Sitting or <laughs> I floor. when I do it at home, I do it laying in bed. So this, as soon as my consciousness comes back in my body, mm -hmm. I start this breath. This is how I start my day. Okay. okay. And you'll do thirty, approximately thirty or so, and and then when you get to that last breath, then you're taking one more deep breath in, and then you, you let the breath go. And you hold it out in the out breath. And you hold as long as you can comfortably. Okay. And then when you have to breathe in again, you take another deep breath in. And you hold again and you squeeze. Squeeze what? You squeeze the breath to your head. Okay. And you hold that for about 10 to 20 seconds. And then, and that's one round. So 30 long deep breaths. Exhale, holding it out as long as you can, comfortably, inhaling, holding, and then squeezing the breath to the head with a light squeeze, okay? Okay. So that pattern, you can do that multiple times. I usually would suggest in the beginning three, and then as you get more accomplished and more confident, you can mm. go to as many as you want. I do six sometimes. Oh, my. Yeah. Well, you, I'm telling you, I, when I met you, I think about a year or so ago. Yeah. Uh, you you look you look younger too. You yeah. look very vibrant, yeah. but because you are practicing what yeah, you I do this. You're doing. I spend at least an hour a day doing you know between the breathing and the cold. Th yeah. those are my primary. Because practices. you don't have to be you don't have to be in a special place if you do this when you first wake up, like yeah. you probably yeah, do. Yeah, just do it in bed. Yeah, and then in between patients. Yeah, you know, and, you know. I mean, just even doing three of those breaths, you feel energy. Yeah, just even three. I know I have. Uh, had an incident where something happened and, and just taking the time to put myself in a more parasympathetic state. Yeah. And that's what I needed to do, especially if I'm going to stand in front of a crowd of people and talk. Yeah. You know, sometime before I go out there and talk, I'd say, okay, let me just pull myself to the side and do this. Yeah. Well, sometime I do that before I walk upstairs to come into the studio. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm nice and relaxed and ready to go. Yeah. So you it, sets you, mm -hmm. it sets you so for your whole your day. Tone. And then mm -hmm. anytime you're having stress during your day, Bam, three, three long deep breaths, you're back to square mm -hmm. one. If a lot of people knew this, it probably would prevent them from a lot of heart attacks when they get oh, yeah. so stressed out. Yeah. That's why when people are going through a stress, stressful argument yeah. with someone or a situation on the phone or whatever, sometimes I tell them just, it's best to just say, let, let's, let me get back with you. Yeah, take and some then, breaths and or reset your I'm going system. to the ladies' room or the men's room. And go in there and do your breathing. Yeah. They'll excuse you if you say you have to go there. Yeah. And just go do your breathing. Yeah, this is for the, you. This yeah. is for you and yeah. your life yeah, and your and, health. And the other thing is, is, you know, this country is addicted to drugs. You know, right? Like all, the, all yeah. these, you know, antidepressants and stuff. This breathing heals depression. 
mood swings, mm. trauma, PTSD, autoimmune diseases, arthritis, anything with an itis, inflammation, the breathing and the cold eradicates it. How do you find this with people who have cancer? It's going to support them because cancer yeah. is inflammatory. I know it. So mm -hmm. whenever you're reducing inflammation, you're reducing the spread of cancer. Exactly. Okay. Um, you know, cancer is just the where you've just let your body gone too far. You haven't taken care the of yourself. The DNA. You haven't yeah. loved yourself enough. Yeah. And so now the the tumor is trying to wake you up. You know, because there's three questions I ask people who come to me who have been diagnosed. And we don't use the C word. We just say abnormal cells and kind of leave yeah. it like that. You have these abnormal cells. Let's just work on work on your health. But the three questions I ask, one is, um, do you feel loved? And the second is, do you love yourself? Uh, and do you want to live? You know, because a lot of people, and I've had people tell me this, you know, I don't know, I'll tell you next time I see you. And I said, well, I, you know, I don't want you to waste your money and time. Because if you don't know if you want to live, how is this going to help you? Because yeah. you have to feel comfortable too with yourself, love yourself, but also with the practitioner that you're working with. So if you don't feel comfortable with that person and they give you this, you say, oh, well, this is not going to work and blah, blah, blah. And, or if you're just doing this because you don't, your family wants you to be here. A lot of times your family wants you to. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. A, you got to do it for you. I, I really feel for people that have this diagnosis because, yeah. you know, in the end of the day, we're all kind of caught in, a, in an artificial matrix that the society yeah. has created through adulteration, right? Adult adults are adulterated. We need to get back to our inner child yes. through loving ourselves, loving thoughts, and being playful. Getting back to being alive. Yes. And you, the the best place to find life is in nature. Wow. <laughs> Going to nature. You know, and, Something and, I wouldn't do because I was afraid of bugs. <laughs> But nature is, but, yes. okay, so my it definition is. nature is air, yeah. earth, water, sun. Oh, that's the other part. That's the last key, by the way, is the sun. Yes. The reason we're even on this planet is because of the sun. So the best medicine that's f far superior to any, any drug out there is sunlight. Mm -hmm. If we can get daily sun, and it goes beyond vitamin D, by the way. There's other oh, aspects yes. of sun yes, that, that people aren't aware of. But, you know, the sunlight heals our mitochondria. The yes, mitochondria are little bacteria that live in our cells that really control us. And so everything we're talking about, the cold, the, the water, the, the sun, the earth, all of it at the end of the day is to energize, heal, mm -hmm. and nourish your mitochondria. It, it, was, it was put here naturally in the very beginning of time. Yeah. It was already here. Yeah, we have everything we, we need. We There's didn't, nothing we didn't, we outside didn't have, of nature. We didn't have medication and antibiotics and pain meds way back in time. Yeah, this we is just an that. aberration that got, you know, kind of started 100 years ago with mm -hmm. with greed. You know, there were a few very greedy people who decided they wanted to control the, the system. Mm -hmm. And you know what? Now it's time for us to take our power back. Uh huh. Take our power back. Yes. And it's so simple. Yes. You don't need a doctor. You are the doctor. You're your own healer. Right. Isn't this amazing? I so, healed myself. I'm a doctor, but guess what? No doctor healed me. Nature healed me. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. That is so powerful. And um, and I, I know through me with prayer and the things I do, and but it was still nature. Yeah. And it was still nature and still what, what God's force uh, the whole healing process. That's another thing. We are God. You know, that's the other thing. God's not out there. God's in you. You have the power of God in every molecule, atom, subatomic particle. You know, think about it. all the humans on the planet. Just one human has enough power to light up a sun. That's how much power I, I, we I've, have I've in our that. physical body. Mm -hmm. We can literally become suns. We just have a like a very limited power because we put restrictions on, on our, what we on believe, yeah. right? It's all our beliefs. Yeah. If you start connecting with your true nature through nature, right, mm -hmm. you have unlimited power. I mean, Wim Hof, the guy that I study with, he sits in an ice bath for two hours. Who can do that? 
two but hours. But that, that's a superhuman ability. But yeah. we all have that ability. Yeah. Because it's programmed in our DNA mm-hmm. already. It's yeah. already there. And, and like we've watched certain people. I, I've done things uh, with people in the past uh, because one, this person just was annoying everyone when I worked at hospitals years ago. And he wanted more pain medication. And I knew he could only have it every four hours. But this is working in the hospital. And he was a patient. But he would call like every two hours. Every two hours he wanted. You, you cannot. So one day I said, okay, this man is not going to drive me crazy all shift. I'm going to give him something for pain. And so I said, this is going to taste very, very horrible. You're not going to like this. It's going to taste bad. So I said, but but you got (laughs) to swallow it real fast so you don't taste it. And I said, the pain is going to be gone in less than two minutes. Do you trust me? He said, yes. So I walked away. And um, he put a, he kept ringing the buzzer. He kept ringing the, the, the call light and said, where is she? The pain is gone. I feel wonderful. I feel wonderful. And we still had like six hours to go that day. And he, he was pain free. And what I gave him was a piece of a breath mint. Uh-huh. Tiny so little mind. piece of a breath yeah, yeah, mint. The power of the mind. And the next day I was off and the hospital called me and said, what did you give this man? Because he is driving us crazy. <laughs> I mean, Again. you know, that's and the I thing. like the word crazy, but it's, he's really. And I said, well, it was actually a mind over matter and it was his belief. Yeah. And then I told him he was going to be paying free. And that's what I did. Yeah. I, I yeah. can't so that, say that. I mean, we, that's we, just we a little that. tiny drop of an example of how powerful our minds are. I, I mean, know. It's, but it wasn't even a pain medication. Yeah. It was just a yeah. small. It's, it was but a, I didn't want was, him to taste the You gave mint. him a mind medication. Yes, I you did. You gave medication yes, to the mind. A placebo. Yeah. Yeah. You know, then it's that's that's the reality. Though we live in a quantum universe, so uh, you know our beliefs create our reality. Yes, it's they that, do. It, you know, everybody knows that it's yes. not new new knowledge, but Littem, when, yes. when you actually start applying it on a regular, consistent mm-hmm. basis, mm-hmm. and not live in the matrix, and get off your phone and stop being in that false reality of social media that's the new thing right it used to be tvs everyone's addicted now everyone's addicted to their phone yeah you know you got to get off that phone put it down go to nature at least part of your day yeah you know? and to go to, don't go to nature with your phone don't yeah. go for a walk, a walk or a hike you know with your phone talking to people yeah put it yeah. put it away put it, put it away put it away yeah you, you know get connected to other people around you mm-hmm. that that's you know, we're social beings. We're cutting ourselves off from from yes, our social are. connections, from the nature around us. We have to break free of these chains right. that, that society is putting on us. Society does not want us to be free, happy, healthy. We have to walk the opposite way. Because you know what they're advertising more now? Um, and that's because, too, of an environment is uh, COPD. There's more advertisement on COPD and respiratory. But what, what are you doing to our, our environment? You know, but if those people were out more and getting more sunlight, because I know once I hit the sun, I, I feel great. And everybody do. You just tell them, yeah. you know, people who are sick, I said, okay, take them outside, you know, uh, and let them get some, get some air. I mean, we don't have fresh air. Sometimes you need to put on a mask, but... <laughs> <laughs> but let them get, feel the sun, feel the sun against their body. I mean, you know, th- you, know, you know, even with all the pollution and all the toxins and all the glyphosate, still the plants grow. The mm-hmm. insects chirp, the birds sing. Yeah. Everything's still going on. Even with all the stuff that man is trying to do to, to pollute the environment, the Go earth up. still goes on. And guess mm-hmm. what? It's going to keep going on with or without man. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to keep going on. True, true. <laughs> <laughs> the, the earth doesn't need us. <laughs> no, but we need to just do all the things that we know to do this right. Yeah. And these tips, they're not s- secrets per se, but you, if you, you know, take this into your being, take this into who you are, Yeah. you know, and again, I want to go back to the ice because I, I, there's several people that I mentioned to show to them. And I was telling them some things you just don't want to just jump into it and do yourself. Right. So the next you know. step. OK, so we talked about the breathing. So the mm-hmm. breathing is the preparatory. The next step is just simply when you're in your shower in the morning, at the very end of the shower, turn it on a cold and just get in there for 30 seconds. Do that every day and then slowly build your time 30 seconds, okay. till you get to 10 minutes, you know, and th- that's that's it. 
just get used to the cold and build the time. And as, as you keep building it, also put your hands in ice water. Put your face in ice water. Yeah, I do the face because it's anti-aging. Right. You know Paul <laughs> Newman, the actor Paul Newman mm-hmm. from years ago? The, re- the reason he was such a handsome guy, he put his face in ice water every day, his whole life. That's what kept him young, vital looking. And they weren't doing the Botox and all the no, stuff. He then. was just doing ice water face plunges, right? That's old school, but it's oh. the most powerful. It is. <laughs> Believe me, I know because I do it. Yeah. yeah. So you start just by, you know, baby steps, your mm-hmm. hands, your face, your feet. And as you increase your time, then, you know, within a month or two, you're ready to do an ice bath. Mm-hmm. You know, if, as long as you're healthy. I don't recommend an ice bath for anyone who's sick. If you've got a cold, a flu, a virus. A a weakened immune system. Yeah. Yeah. No, you don't want to do ice baths, although you can do cold exposure, like you could do your feet or your hands. That's going to build your immune system. Mm -hmm. But if you get overly chilled, that could actually make you worse, which not is not a great idea. Right. But in, you know, 95% of the time when you get healthy, getting in the ice. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've actually helped people who were paraplegics. Stroke victims, people with, you know, very severe cancer that got huge benefit from getting in the ice water. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. This, this is such great news. Yeah. And then it's very inexpensive. It's very, yeah. very inexpensive. Buy some, what, bags of ice? Well, that's the f- way I started was just ice started. in a bathtub. But the bathtub, if uh-huh. you really want to do this as a lifestyle, you go to Best Buy or Home Depot and you buy a chest freezer. You know, one that can fit your body. So just make sure you get in it. Make sure you fit. <laughs> Take and that you just, door off. <laughs> and you just, well, you, it's a chest freezer. It just pops open. It right? pops open. You don't ever yeah. want it to fall. No, it won't. They, they ha- they're on a spring. So it doesn't. Okay. It, it, so but basically okay. you fill that up three quarters full of water and uh-huh. turn it on. And it freezes the water. till. So you leave it on until, you know, ice crystals form. And then uh-huh. you turn it off. And then I turn mine off. You know, one day on, one day off. So there's always ice formed in the water, and the water's always 32 degrees. Wonderful. So you measure the water, too. Yeah. Yes. So, you know, we have two minutes left. Cool. I've been giving the, my time. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not going to waste my time telling you yeah. we have two minutes. But what I want you to do, take 30 seconds, and what would you leave? And look into the eyes of my audience. What do you want them to leave with? Create a perfect day for yourself. Create a routine. Do something where you're loving yourself on a daily basis. Don't be hard on yourself. Forgive yourself. You're worth it. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. Drink water. Get in the sun. Get in the cold. And breathe. Breathe, yes. And um, the grounding. And, yeah, get connected to the earth. Yeah, the grounding. And then intermittent fast on a daily basis and let autophagy heal you. That's your own body healing itself. Yes. And that, it's just going without food. You're not going to starve. Drink water. Yeah. You're not going to starve to death. Trust it's me. Like, it's like building a muscle. Mm-hmm. The more you do it, the easier it is. It, yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. So those are some very, very powerful tips yeah. that are free. Yeah. That are free. Yeah. So, you know, we can get ourselves back to where we want to go, where we want to be without spending all this money and going to all these salons and doing all these things and injections and you name it and taking powerful uh, antibiotics. And now yeah. the new antibiotics is prednisone because they stopped giving people penicillin now. And now they're giving my uh, a friend of mine had her child at the hospital in the ER at Antelope Valley. And I'm going to say that because... Everybody who was leaving there was given prednisone. The kids. Really? Yeah. Prednisone. Forget about wow. the antibiotics, wow. but we're so resistant well, this now. Is, this is part we're of the resistant. matrix. That's the matrix programming that you need to walk away. It's like Sodom and Gomorrah. Walk the other way. Yes. Walk the other way. Yes. <laughs> yes. Whatever you have to do, walk the other way. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So you don't want those things to happen. We don't want sick children. We don't want sick parents. So we want to stay as healthy as possible. So I just want to thank you so much especially for the invitation to come be a guest on the show and you're no stranger here so i will have you on again because you're always doing some advanced things that i want to bring to the show next time awesome okay but i thank you so much for taking the time and a good thing like i said in the beginning you have shared some things that i helped me with some things in my clinic Mm -hmm. and you're always open 
because you know, you, you're a big researcher too. Well, yeah, because you know, kids. What are kids doing? They're curious. They want to know. Exactly. I never believe just one thing. No, neither do you I. You gotta you gotta open your eyes. What's out there? Mm -hmm. And there's a lot out there. It is because this is why I do a lot of things I do, and I've shared it with other doctors and other people. Matter of fact, that's why there's so many clinics doing uh, and this is one reason why glutathione is back ordered because i shared so much of the benefit of it because mm -hmm. i use it in a nebulizer so it's Beautiful. just it's just wonderful mm -hmm. so i had no problems getting things now it's back order because <laughs> so many people and i have been a wonderful trailblazer i'm gonna say <laughs> because there weren't that many people doing ivs yeah. in 19 what was it was in 2009 there wasn't a lot yeah. and now it's just like it's everywhere like street corner. and that's because they heard yeah. me talking about yeah. this is what i do yeah. so i i'm thankful that what i do people want to mimic it because of the fact that it does work mm -hmm. and what we want to do is have a healthy nation a healthy world a healthy community a healthy household. Let's start started, with us. It starts with loving yourself. Loving yourself. Loving yourself. Create the perfect day. That's it. You yes. Create your perfect and day. And you say that. That's what I do in the morning. Yeah. I get up and say, this is going to be the best day of my life. Yeah. I start off that way. So I want to say, now that we're about to end the show, repeat after me. So repeat after me. I am. I am. So grateful. So grateful. That I am. That I am. A magnet. A magnet. For miracles. For miracles. And, you know, I just want to do something else. I know we're about to end, but I have a book, and the book is entitled Written Before I Was Born. It's actually an audio book, so there's a song to go with it. So the song, I wrote the hook with a dear friend. I wrote the hook, and it goes like this. Written before I was born, destiny had to conform to a path I had already won before I was born. So you guys are going to hear the song real soon, too. But I want to say have a blessed day. Love yourself. Hug yourself. Stand in the mirror naked and look at yourself and say, I love me unconditionally just the way I am. Have a blessed day. Join us every Wednesday live at 11 a.m. for a new Wellness TV with Dr. Lee. Remember, healthy mind, healthy body.